Okay, once again, welcome this evening uh, to our new school year, our open house at Hilo High School. Uh, we turned down the air conditioning so that you wouldn't be uncomfortable, and we hope that uh, the meal was good. Uh, Wiki Fresh is relatively new here in the community, so uh, I like to like to think that there are partners. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the refreshments this evening. First of all, um, I'd like to first say that you know, in our efforts in Hilo High to communicate with the community, there's a number of avenues we're using. For example, the CV. Uh, you can catch us on Twitter, you can catch us on Facebook, Instagram, as well as on our website. Uh, all are available. We've done a lot of things on those websites. Uh, and I think it's a good thing and where we have a great technology group here. And um, so if you miss anything this evening, you'll probably be able to catch it on Facebook this evening is what I understand and see what was uh, covered. So tonight we have a pretty full agenda for you. We have some things we have to take care of here before you go out into the community. And um, we have a majority of our teachers are here and I really appreciate that about them because there's a million things that all of us could be doing. You being here, we thank you, and them being here especially. Uh, tonight, what I'd like to do is start the evening off by uh, introducing our parent involver, Ms. Karen Welsh. She's been here as long as I've been at Eagle High. Is that about that right? 20, 30 years? <laughs> it seems like that. Thousands of years. But Karen's done an excellent job in keeping the communication chain uh, open and having people understand what we're trying to do at Eagle High. So without any further delay, Karen Welsh. Thank you all so much for your patience. It's really hard when the caterer is 45 minutes late on the deadline when we went to go pick up. So we were actually on top of it, but I think they're a new organization. It's Wiki Fresh. Did you enjoy your meal? Yeah. Good. I have buy one, get one 50% off cards. I didn't make it all the way over there, so please come pick them up. I'll try and pass them out as people are speaking. But we just want to welcome you tonight. We have a lot going on. I just wanted to remind you that we are a Title I school, and so a lot of our funding comes from the Title I program, and um, we want to be here for your students, so make sure you fill out the free and reduced lunch form. Even if your student says they will never eat here, or whatever they say to you, go ahead and fill it out because it does benefit our entire campus and we're able to provide things like tutoring and a whole bunch of other special programs uh, through Title I. So it doesn't hurt to fill out the form and um, we would love for you uh, to do that. So now I'm going to introduce, um, oh by the way, a Title I parent involver, I call myself the parent guardian involver because I know there's a lot of you folks out there that are taking care of your loved ones and then, and then a cakey in the community. So we just want to acknowledge that we really appreciate the fine job that you're doing to help raise um, our children. And so, you know, we're, we're excited because we feel like there are, our students are, are a part of us too. So thank you, I am your bridge between school and home and back again and I really appreciate communicating with you and if anyone did not get a meal we might have a few left so uh, there were a couple that the RSVPs didn't come through so I just want to make sure that everyone's fed so we'll, we'll try and get that taken care of but I just want to now welcome our Vice Principal Erin Williams as she's going to speak a little bit on our wonderful ACE program that we have here so listen up Erin Williams and I'm one of the vice principals here at Hilo High. We have three of us this year so lots to choose from. But I'm going to talk about two programs. One, um, we began an official tutoring program this past Monday um, for our students. It runs Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays and Fridays. Um, various schedules and we have the um, flyer posted on the website. It's open to all students. We have official tutors there that provide math, social studies, English tutoring, We'll also be um, implementing use of computers next week so that we can um, have kind of an array of, of services for our students. So um, please encourage your child to come. We have a pretty, really good math person that's there. 
and um, we did have about seven kids show up so far this week, and that was just the, the first day. Um, so please encourage your child if they're falling behind or if they're not sure or if they wait for you till 4.30, they can come and hang out with us. We have an air-conditioned room. It's a quiet place to be, and we'd love to have them. So please encourage your child to do that. Um, the second program that I have is called Attendance Cultivates Excellence, or ACE. ACE is our program that is created for students to make up absences that they've accumulated throughout the, the quarter, actually. So our students are allowed a total of about 35 absences before it becomes official that they go to our counseling department. So you might think 35 is a lot. It's actually a two-week time period, and within a two-week time period, a child can get 35 absences. So it's really not that much. Um, what we're asking our students to do this year is hold a zero unexcused absence balance, which means that even if they're absent, they can make up their absence in our program called ACE. ACE runs on Wednesdays from 1.30 to 2.30 is our first session, and then 2.45 to 3.45. What it does is it helps to make up that absence so it becomes an excused absence instead of an unexcused absence. So as an example, you may be going on vacation and it, you've already scheduled and there's some things going on but you need to go and you can use ACE as a form of makeup even before you leave on your trip. So it's really a good program. The other thing we're trying to do this year with that program is make it so that it's a positive instead of a negative. In the past, we associated um, non-attendance with a grade, but this year we're gonna do an opposite where we're gonna offer our students an incentive. So they'll get a, um, a certificate that they have zero unexcused absences or zero absences total, and then everyone's name that, that qualifies will get it put into a barrel, and it gets swished around, and we pick two names. Those two people are gonna, our first quarter award, and we're giving away two iPads. So we want them to be in school, and we're finding ways to get them to be here. So please encourage your child. All of this information is in your parent handbook, and it's also posted on our website and in Twitter and all of those sort of things. So please encourage. If you guys have questions, please give us a call. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody throughout the evening. Thank you. So I'm, I'm supposed to introduce Kelly Korea. She's our counselor, and she's going to give you some information also. Hi, thank you for being here tonight. So I just wanted to reiterate one thing about that free and reduced lunch application. So everybody should have received the paper version when your students brought it home with all their other beginning of the school year paperwork um, a couple of weeks ago. There's also a quick and easy online way to submit the application. Um, if you Google EZ, like the letters EZ meal, M-E-A-L, uh, you should pop up with the um, website to be able to do the online application and it's pretty quick. So a couple of the specific uh, benefits to being able to qualify for a free reduced lunch, you could, you, you and your child could qualify for uh, scholarships to be able to take, let's say, a college class uh, through Running Start program at the Hawaii Community College or UH Hilo um, if they feel they are ready. So a scholarship to pay for tuition. Um, some of the other things that you could qualify for, test fee waivers. So SAT and ACT tests cost everybody money, um, 50 to 72 dollars per exam, depending on which exams you're taking. So if you qualify for free or reduced lunch um, this school year, your child can qualify for two fee waivers to take the exam. So that's one other benefit. Um, college application fee waivers. So applying to college can be really, really expensive, um, 50 to $100 per college application. Um, but if you qualify for free reduced lunch, and if the school that you're applying to accepts the waivers, then that could be a benefit to you as well. So there are numerous benefits to being able to qualify. Uh, so it's kind of worth 
the time to put in the application, uh, even if, like they said earlier, if your child says, well, we don't eat because I don't eat lunch. Um, and then the second thing I wanted to share with you, in case everybody was not aware, we had to make um, counseling assignment changes this school year. So ninth grade, this current ninth grade class is still with Miss Julia Taniguchi. Um, and then 10 through 12 is split alphabetically. So this year, A to E is Don Tillery. F to K is me. L to P is Agnes Yamauchi. And everybody else, Q to Z is Natanoyama. So, uh, we're sorry, we know it can get a little confusing. If you have any questions at all, call the front office and they will help to direct you to the right counselor. Thank you. Um, next, uh, my fellow counselor, Agnes Yamauchi. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, as Kelly just said, I'm counselor 10 through 12, L through P. We're still getting used to the alpha changes ourselves. But actually, I'm here for driver education. I'm your coordinator. Um, your sons and daughters can come and see me in room A, 1A with permit and sign up for um, driver education if they qualify. Um, I usually have five sessions during the school year, two during the summer. Um, so, we're pretty open. I have October coming up right now, and it's pretty wide open. My first class has, has, um, is just about to start, so that's closed. Um, but there's really not too much of a wait list. My classes run usually 3 to 5 in the afternoon, Monday through Thursdays, um, for about 17 to 18 days, and then they start driving. So, tell them come and see me. Permit. <laughs> I'm an Uber driver on the side, so I'm always seeing the driver and the students out on the road. I try to scare them. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. I'm a good driver. Okay, so I just want to really, um, and I just want to encourage you, if you have not joined the PTSA, I know Beverly's going to talk about it, please join the PTSA because they're a hardworking group of people, but they need to know that you support them, and the way you support them is by becoming a member, and they really don't ask you to do much. You know, so um, most members are just sign up and become members and that's the end of it. But at least it gives them some power behind what they're doing. Uh, so I just want to encourage you to do that this evening. I'm going to put in my membership application this evening. I brought my money. So I'm really excited about that. But I want to introduce Beverly Heike. She's the PTSA president and she's going to take us into a PTSA, a quick general meeting that we need to have always at the beginning of the year. Um, just a wonderful president. She's doing such a great job with the board, and it's just a privilege and a pleasure to just be working with her and, and then all of the other board members. So I want you to give her a big hand. Beverly Pikes. Thank you, Karen. That was a humbling introduction. Thank you so much. Um, Karen, did you also do all of those photos yeah. in there? Okay. Um, okay. All right. Well, first of all, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you for having such a big crowd. So many of you came out to support your student education. Um, like me, you probably learned at the elementary level that it's very important that we are engaged in our student uh, education so that they can have a great educational experience. I still believe that holds true at the high school level. So thank you so much for your commitment to your student, your commitment to the school community, and your commitment to all we do as a PTSA. I'm excited that so many of you signed up tonight. Yay, that was pretty good. So I feel like I'm gonna be preaching to the choir now. But anyway, you still have opportunities to sign up if you haven't done so already. So thank you again for being here. Uh, I just wanna thank Karen real quick. Uh, she is the mastermind behind the PowerPoint, so I want you to enjoy all the beautiful pictures that she put in there uh, as she made us look beautiful tonight as a PTSA. So thank you, Carol. You're welcome. So um, uh, just a couple of things. So we will go through here so you get more familiar with the PTSA, but we do have four order of business, business that we need to take care of tonight. 
So if you were already a member of the PTSA, you received some information at the door. It was the minutes from the last meeting, general membership meeting, which was in April. You should also have received the proposed budget for this year as well. Now, other members that signed up before, you received our new bylaws that we needed to do per the Hawaii State PTSA. We needed to make some changes in that. So that was sent out to you via email. So I hope you had a chance to review that. We will talk about that as well. So four things we're going to do. But first of all, I just want to give you a little introduction. And I think Karen has moved on. All right, moves on with that. Uh, actually, I can do the minutes right now. Thank you. Maybe she can turn so I can see what you're doing behind me. Okay, so if you received the minutes and had a moment to uh, review the minutes, was there any questions, comments, or clarifications in regards to the minutes? No? Then our minutes approved as read. Thank you so much on that. Uh, the PTSA mission statement is a PTSA is a volunteer organization of Hilo High School dedicated to enhancing the educational experience for our students, supporting teacher needs, and providing parent guardians with guidance and communication. That's what we do here. Our, the actual uh, PTSA in Hawaii was chartered in 1926. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization and we're dedicated to improving the lives of both our students and all the children in the state of Hawaii. We're a collective group of volunteer parents, as Carolyn said earlier. Yes, we are volunteer parents, guardians, teachers, and students committed to the climate of the school as well as the culture. Who we are, the PTSA is a powerful voice for the kids, the students, a resource for parents, strong advocate for public education, and it's open to anyone who's concerned with the education, health, and welfare of children and youth. So aunties, uncles, grandparents, business community members, everyone can join the PTSA. You can have a voice in the education of our students. Who can join the PTSA? I think I just went over that, but everyone can join it. I say the P is for parents, the T is for teachers, and S is for students. So everyone can join the PTSA. Uh, our current and returning board members, myself, Beverly Hikes, I have a, a very a tenth grade student here at Hilo High, who I'm very proud, and I'm very proud of the education that he's getting here, and the various organizations and clubs that he got a chance to participate in. So I'm very proud of him. Uh, we have our vice president, Therese. Where's Therese? Therese, raise your hand so we can see who you are. She is returning. Thank you, Therese, for your support. We have a few outgoing uh, PTSA board members. Our treasurer who served uh, last year, Rodrigo Romo, he is outgoing. And also his wife, Charlotte Romo, who served as president before, but last year she was membership chair. And she's also outgoing. Uh, next is our secretary, Bev. She is not really outgoing, she's just stepping back from secretary and becoming our treasurer. So thank you so much for stepping up to that. <laughs> What do we do? Uh, we support the teachers. Uh, we have an appreciation welcome brunch in July. We do a development, personal development breakfast for the teachers. Uh, we have appreciation at the end of the year, which is a brunch in May and June. Uh, we do uh, support the teachers' workshops. And we do teacher mini grants for our class, for the classroom supplies. And we made a change this year. We normally do like in February, but we decided that the greatest need is at the beginning of the year. So we are in the process of our teacher mini grant program, and so many have signed up. I think eight, 19 so far. But we only have one left. So the first one who get a letter to me <laughs> request will get that one. So thank you so much to the teachers for all you do for our school community. We have events and fundraisers, two general membership meetings. We have the one here tonight. The next one will be in April. We uh, sponsor the craft fair, the Hilo High Park the craft fair. Uh, the PTSA is the manpower or woman power behind that um, event, and they work together to make that very successful. So we're looking forward to having another successful one. It will be Saturday, December 2nd. We support the open house uh, because of members like you, those who signed up and paid their dues. We have money to be able to provide the meal tonight. Uh, so thank you for your support and helping us do that. We have board meetings every month. 
Um, so even if you join the PTA, PTSA, you can become a member, you can be on the board, you can be on the committee, you can just decide if all you want to do is just be a member, as Karen said before. You can say we can call in one time only and we'll do just that. So um, we just appreciate all of you becoming a part of it. But we do have board meetings every month where the exec team gets together and we do the business of the PTSA. Um, we have Amazon Smile available. You would have noticed that on the application. So anytime you're shopping on Amazon, you can put in um, Hilo High PTSA and we will get support that way as well. So that's one of our fundraisers too. Okay, we only do about three fundraisers, and that's the craft fair, uh, Amazon Smile, and then membership. You can spread your membership. Uh, and we do have membership applications still available for those who haven't signed up yet. Jennifer is holding them, and she'll be passing them out if you need them. Um, student and parent support. Yes, we support the parents as well with workshops. We have senior scholarships. Last year we gave out one. This year we hope to give out three. And we have opened it up to the entire um, school. All seniors can apply for our scholarships. Uh, we have communication of school information. I think Karen does a great job of that. So she's always uh, following up with whatever needs to be done on message boards, websites, social media, media and email. So thank you, Karen, for putting all that information out. Uh, we have on kind of campus projects that we do. And one of the most important things, I think, is that we have the principals here, the PTSA. So when we have our meetings, the principal is always there, and we can always advocate for students, advocate for parents, or whatever issue or concern that you may have, you can put it in the PTSA box, and we'll bring it to the principal. Okay, we do need your help. Uh, like I said, I think I'll be preaching to the choir because so many of you signed up tonight, and we have opportunities to do so. We're looking for teachers, students, ohanas, become members that volunteer and serve in key positions. And one of our key positions that we do have open and still need a nominee for is secretary. So if you're great at note-taking, that's your talent or skill set, please step up to be our secretary for this year because we are in need of a secretary. Okay, now everybody has to raise their hand at one time, but uh, <laughs> when it's over, you can just, when I get to the nominations, you can decide then to step up, okay? So I'll give you a chance to think about it. And Beth was our secretary last time, and she will tell you it's a very easy job. All you have to do is take notes. So we need volunteers, especially parents. We had a lot of parents that volunteered tonight, so thank you so much for your help. And we also need people that are willing to donate funds to help us uh, continue to do all of the special events that we do at the school and to continue the support that we do. Okay, so this takes me to our second order of business. As I mentioned earlier, we do have positions that need to be filled. One of them is our secretary. But I'm so excited that we had some parents to step up to become nominees for several open positions. And the first one is, as I said, treasurer. Bev is stepping up to be our treasurer. The second one is programs. This year we wanted to bring on more parents, more voices to the table. So we have a program chair, Ann Nihara, is she here? Ann, I think I saw you, there you are, okay. So Ann is uh, stepping up for programs. And then Ways and Means is Jennifer, she's already up and about doing all kinds of things, passing out and helping us. So if you three can come to the front, Bev, Ann, as well as Jennifer. And is there anyone else here that'd like to be considered for secretary? Because at this time, I would take nominations from the floor. If you want to nominate somebody, you have to make sure you already spoke to them, okay? Nominate <laughs> yourself. Uh, you can nominate yourself if you like. So, Anne, if you could come up, and Bev, if you could come up as well. Is there any nominations from the floor for secretary? Is there any nominations for treasurer, as well as ways and means and programs? You can step up now if you can know someone that you would like to nominate for this particular position. Okay. So hearing none, we will proceed. Can I have a motion in regards to having Bev as our treasurer, Jennifer as our Ways and Means, and Anne as program? Is there a motion from the floor? Okay. If you can give your name to the secretary so she can mark it down, Dr. Young. Okay. Is there someone that can second or agree with the motion that's on the floor? Who said, who's the second? We need to record it. 
your name? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a Waco. Okay. Waco. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, so we have a motion and a second. Is there any questions or comments or clarifications? Anyone need any discussion on our nominees? Okay, if there's no discussion, you are ready for the question. All in favor of these nominees taking the positions that I mentioned earlier, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? I still have to sit there. <laughs> what was that? Students, don't forget your hero points in the back. 
Hero points, you need to get a transport for an additional 20 